Mangalore International Airport IATA, IXE, ICAO, VOML, is an international airport serving the coastal city of Mangaluru Mangalore, India. It is one of the only two international airports in Karnataka, the other being Kempagata International Airport, Bangalore. Mangalore International Airport is the second busiest airport in Karnataka. In addition to domestic destinations, flights depart daily for major cities in the Middle East. The airport, then the Bajpay Aerodrome, was opened on 25 December 1951 when then Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru arrived on a DC-3 Dakota aircraft. Overview The airport is near Bajpay, around 13 kilometres northeast of Mangaluru Mangalore city centre. It is on top of a hill, with two tabletop runways 09, 27 and 06, 24. Only two other airports in India have tabletop runways, Khorikode and Lengpui. The very small and basic terminal was renovated in the early 2000s, adding parking controls, additional seating and additional cafes. The airport was initially used for limited domestic flights, mainly to Mumbai and Bengaluru. The operation of international flights started in 2006 with Air India Express flying to Dubai. Mangaluru Airport was a customs airport for six years, from 3 October 2006 to 3 October 2012, before it was granted the status of international airport, until 2005, the small 1,600 metres 5 feet runway meant the airport could only handle Boeing 737-400 size aircraft. The longer runway now handles slightly larger aircraft. On 10 January 2006 an Airbus A319 of Kingfisher Airlines landed on the new runway. On 28 September 2012 an Airbus A310 landed for the first time at Mangaluru. It was a charter flight for the Hajj pilgrims to Mecca, Saudi Arabia. In 2011-12, the airport had a revenue of 42.64 crore rupees and an operating profit of 87.6 million rupees, up from 8.3 million rupees in 2006-07. In 2012-13, the airport handled a landmark 1.02 million passengers with 11,940 aircraft movements. The revenue for the same period was 506.6 million rupees, and it recorded an operating profit of 164.9 million rupees during 2012-13. In 2013-14 it handled a 1.25 million passengers with revenues of 638.9 million rupees. Structure Topic. Runway The first runway 09, 27, 1,615 meters 5,299 feet long, was opened in 1951. It is a tabletop runway, with landing approaches presented with the extreme edges of a hillside. The edges of the hill drop into a valley from a height of about 90 meters 300 feet to 9 meters 30 feet within a short distance of just 500 meters 1600 feet on the east of the runway and from about 83 meters 272 feet to 25 meters 82 feet on the western side. The runway was not level with the height varying from 90 meters 300 feet to 83 meters 272 feet from east to west. Landing on this short runway was considered difficult. Mangaluru Airport was the first airport in Karnataka to have two runways and the first to have a runway made of concrete. The second runway 06 24 2450 meters 8038 feet long was opened on the 10th of May 2006. A Jet Airways flight from Bangalore with 95 passengers on board was the first to land on this runway. The airport has acquired land to build a taxiway parallel to the new runway to reduce aircraft turnaround time. Union Minister of State for Civil Aviation Prafal Patel announced on the 15th of May 2010 that a work order for extending the runway to 9000 feet, 2740 meters would be issued soon. 
After the crash of Air India Express Flight 812, the minister reaffirmed on 30 May 2010 that the runway extension will take place and will take into account the spillover area required during an emergency. Safety improvements were implemented after the Directorate General of Civil Aviation identified this as one of the 11 airports in India as unsafe. Addition of a runway end safety area, ensuring proper markings on the runway, and proper maintenance of the basic strip were among the improvements. Topic. Passenger terminal The road to the new terminal reduces the distance between the city and the airport by about 8 km miles. The airport had a trial run of the terminal for domestic flights on 16 December 2009. On 15 May 2010, the terminal building was inaugurated by Civil Aviation Minister, Prafil Patel, along with former Chief Minister of Karnataka, B. S. Yediyarapa. It was to be open to air traffic on 1 July 2010, but it became operational on 2 August 2010 due to delays caused by the Air India Express Flight 812 accident. Since 1 September 2010, the airport is charging a user development fee (UDF) of Rs 150 $2.10) per passenger for domestic flights and Rs 825 $11 for international flights. This fee was approved by the Civil Aviation Ministry. As of 15 May 2010, 26 domestic flights and 52 international flights were operated every week. <laughs> Air traffic control The construction of a new air traffic control ATC tower was completed in June 2014 and commissioned for one month trial on the 19th of January 2015 on the 5th of September 2013 the Airports Authority of India commissioned a DGCA approved advanced automated air traffic management system replacing the older system the system enhances flight safety by providing flight plans direction finders and air ground data link messages this system processes radar feeds from Bangalore, Chennai, and Tiruvananthapuram and displays them at Mangalore. Topic: <inaudible> Old Terminal. Since 2011, the old terminal has been used for direct flights to Madinah, Saudi Arabia, for pilgrims undertaking the Hajj. In 2011 and 2012 chartered flights landed at Mangalore International Airport and carried passengers from the old terminal building. Indian Coast Guard Air Station The Mangaluru Airport Director announced on 28 January 2016 that the Airports Authority of India have handed over 17,000 SQFT of space at the old terminal building to the Indian Coast Guard to set up an air station for its air operations. The ICG proposed the stationing of two of its Dornier aircraft at the air station. Expansion. Addition of two more aerobridges to the terminal building by December 2018. Addition of aircraft parking bays to 12 from current 8 at integrated terminal by 2019. Currently the apron is connected to the edge of runway 06, and aircraft movements on the apron have to be stopped when a plane lands and can only resume when it reaches the apron. A new 2,400-metre taxiway will be built parallel to the runway and join the runway ahead of the landing threshold, enabling aircraft on the apron to move towards the runway and hold, saving 10 to 15 minutes. The construction work on the parallel taxiway started on 1 November 2014 and though slated for completion in September 2016, only Phase 1 was completed by March 2017. The 812 crash inquiry recommendation for runway lengthening not having been implemented due to funding obstacles, its length remains 2,450 metres 8,040 feet. Passenger volume projections for the year 2025 made by the AAI while constructing the new passenger terminal were already exceeded in 2012. Commencement of wide-body aircraft flights from the airport, under a public-private partnership model, depending on allotment of 1 square kilometre of land from the government. <laughs> <laughs> Airlines and destinations
Topic: Statistics. Presently it ranks 12 in the list of airports with international passenger traffic after Delhi, Mumbai, Chennai, Cochin, Bangalore, Hyderabad, Kolkata, Tiruvananthapuram, Ahmedabad, Kori Kode, Thiruchirappalli International Airports. The airport had 8.91 lakh passengers in the FY 2011-12 and witnessed a growth rate of 5.44%. According to the airport sources it has a target of achieving 16 lakh passengers traffic in the FY 2016-17. <inaudible> Air cargo complex Air cargo complex of the airport was commissioned in the year 2013. Major commodities are fresh vegetable, chilled fish, ornamental fish, cashews, flowers and machinery parts. Connectivity KSRTC Karnataka State Road Transport Corporation Route No. 47 offers bus service between the airport from the bottom of the hill and Central Railway Station. Taxis ply between the airport and the city of Mangaluru. Prepaid taxi service is available around the clock at the airport counter in the arrival hall. Accidents and incidents On 19 August 1981, Indian Airlines Flight 557, a HAL 748 VTDXF overshot the 5,783 feet 1,763 meters old runway 27 at Mangalore Bajpe Airport in wet weather. The aircraft came to a halt just beyond the runway edge. While there were no fatalities, the aircraft was damaged beyond repair and was written off. One of the passengers was Virupa Moili, then Finance Minister of Karnataka. An investigation revealed numerous pilot attributed errors. The aircraft's flaps had not been set to landing position, the aircraft had landed long on the downsloping runway, at excessive speed and with a tailwind. The aircraft involved was HAL 748 VTDXF, with manufacturer's serial number 511. It first flew in 1967. On the 22nd of May 2010, Air India Express Flight 812, a Boeing 737-800 VT AXV, flying on the Dubai Mangalore route, overshot the 8,033 feet (2,448 meters) runway number 0624, killing 158 people, including six crew. Only eight survived. The aircraft crashed when it overshot the runway and plunged into a steep gorge at the end of the runway. The starboard wing impacted the concrete socket of the instrument landing system ILS localizer antenna, rendering it unusable. This resulted in delayed or cancelled flights for two weeks during the monsoon rains, which reduced visibility. It took the airport a little under a month to repair and calibrate the ILS and bring it back online. See also List of airports in Karnataka